Hey guys, this is Nick and uh, I want to make a quick tutorial about how to export vector shapes into Zeppelin uh, because uh, I saw a limitation today and uh, I've asked myself several times but uh, actually a girl posted it in uh, the group Facebook group for Zeppelin so I researched the question several times and uh, the problem is that uh, whenever you have a vector shape in Photoshop from Illustrator like so, uh, the vector shape goes into Zeppelin as a uh, pixel file so basically you cannot export the SVG like so. Um, whether if you want to export the SVG, um, you have to make a few steps in order to get um, a shape layer into a group which you can export the whole group as an SVG. So the end result is that uh, you have this layer like so, uh, which is a group and I'll show you in a bit how it uh, is exported and how it is corrected and when you open this in uh, I did not expect that um, I just have to switch the SVG file to write down the SVG extension but uh, as you can see this SVG is openable in Illustrator and all the parts are vector so you can do whatever you want to do. So how do we do that exactly? And uh, I'll first start with the vector graphic here in Illustrator. Um, it doesn't really matter if it's a group or uh, if it's uh, just several parts of the cell parts of the vector graphic so uh, I'll ungroup it first so as you can see each part is uh, separate and I will go to Photoshop and uh, I'll just paste it as a smart object so uh, it's going to be the same one like this here um, and I'll place it like so. And how to get uh, from a vector smart object if you go and click here, uh, the thing Photoshop does is send the vector smart object directly into Illustrator, and there, there you can edit the curves, but obviously you don't need that. You need all the curves to be. Um, separate so you can change them here perhaps change the colors or you can get exactly this in uh, Zeppelin or any other vector software so the thing uh, that I saw and uh, that I've used um, many times Illustrator for for my designs is that uh, you can get it as a shape layer and uh, whenever you get something in, as a shape layer, it uh, comes with the specific color that is currently selected. So as you can see, it's uh, nothing better than this because this would be uh, something that's unusable as vector, but this is something which is unusable. If I export that to Zeppelin, it goes as a separate SVG, uh, which is again this color. So uh, I was thinking, how can we change this in order to look like that, to separate all these uh, parts? So uh, thinking in a really stupid way, I decided that uh, I would create like a workaround because uh, usually whenever you want to combine shape layers in Photoshop you can combine them really easily. Uh, you just merge shapes but uh, if you merge the shapes you get only one color. Uh, unfortunately there is no unmerging of shapes uh, but I decided that uh, I would try something uh, which is what you might think 
just copying the number of uh, parts that this vector object has. Uh, it's seven actually. And then start deleting the parts that are not uh, usable. So each part of the house is going to be a separate vector element. So uh, as I said, this is really stupid workaround, but uh, I'll just continue to do this in, uh, in order to get all the parts. Now I will go for the door. Now the window, I'll delete all these. And now there is a roof and a chimney. So this is the chimney and the thing that is left to do, uh, and uh, you understand why this is uh, double size, is to get all the parts here and uh, double click and choose the colors actually. Because uh, if this element, if you start picking colors from um, a small image, you may pick the wrong color. So um, now I'll select each one and go like so and this is the window and this is the door and now we have a object which is somewhere around here the yeah it's below So I guess I didn't delete the bottom part. So that's why. So I'll change this and I'll move it up. And I need this part at the bottom only. Okay, so uh, the chimney should go to the back. And because I started everything as a group, now um, I'm placing the chimney here and uh, I'll say this is home and I'll mark it as an asset for Zeppelin and now I just, just don't want this inside the group and uh, it's ready. So this uh, took uh, like uh, two minutes to get as uh, separate layers. And uh, I believe that uh, this will save you some other some time if you have uh, just a few elements. Now I'm going to Zeppelin and export uh, the board. And usually if it's uh, vector elements, uh, of course it's a uh, faster to load, uh, to export than smart objects. So now I'm just waiting to see, I'm going here. Okay. So, as you can see, all the elements are separate, but also we have a group. You have to click somewhere in the boundary, not uh, of the object, but boundary of the group. So then you can export the SVG and use it however you like. Hope you liked the tutorial and uh, it would be great uh, to use Zeppelin in the future. It's really one of my favorite tools for designing and uh, working with developers. So it was a pleasure for me to make this tutorial and help you guys. Bye.